Hello, it's Tim Coddington, The Wildernaut. I've been seeing a lot of questions on the internet about uh, you know, showers and hot water. Uh, how, what do you do for showers and what do you do for hot water with that shower or even just hot water in general for doing dishes or washing your hands or whatever. So uh, I did a video this summer on my cool camp. It's on my channel here. I'll link to it in the end. But part of that cool camp is a shower system and a hot water system that I think works out pretty well. Uh, so stay tuned. We'll see you after the video. This is my shower area. I have a double deck platform there and a sprayer, a little valve a hollow log and a shower head <laughs> uh, and that is all run over here to my porta shower and same fitting right there and just connect the porta shower in it's a six gallon jug it's painted black so sun can't get to it because uh the water gets algae growing in there if you don't have it painted or covered or something like that so sun can't get to it but anyway what that has is a 12 volt uh, it's like a motorhome or a camper pump. So it actually, it, that's what it is. And uh, it's got a pressure shutoff valve on it. So when you turn on, this is my jack, uh, my jackery. I gotta bleed the thing so it'll shut off. Well, that's the uh, shower coming on out. Getting up to pressure and then It shuts off, and I have a sprayer too. For washing my legs and my feet. And I do that on my bench that I, I mounted to the top of that by augering in some big holes, driving some wood in there. And I left that on there just for the heck of it. Anyway, it was kind of cool. I use uh, Dr. Bronner's soap for everything <laughs> uh showers dishes whatever has to be washed it's getting washed with dr bronner's this is my jackery i don't know if you've uh seen my review on this before but that's a nice little unit it's a uh, 240 watt hours and it can be charged with solar it has a couple usps does 110 and of course 12 volts which is what i use i use the 110 every once in a while for charging things that are 110 volt i have a couple of things that are 110 i tried to steer away from 110 just to make things simple and more efficient this is my heater this is my porta shower heater this uh just goes into the one of them black jugs and this goes in there as well just put them both in it's got a 12 volt pump there now this pump you have to prime so i have to prime it too just suck the water through until it gets to the pump and I throw that in, in the fire you just build a small fire in the fire pit and then put that put the copper tube right in there it's 25 feet in case you're curious um, and then I let I lay logs around it too you know facing up like a teepee and that gets good and hot it takes uh, from the 58 degree water in the well and you have a good fire going you know small fire going already so you have some coals and then you throw some wood on top of that. It takes a half hour and it'd be 130 degrees. And man, is that nice. Uh, actually, I'll be taking a shower later tonight. Well, I hope you liked the video. Uh, it works for me. Everything, uh, everything works good. That hot water heats right up quick and uh, that shower is really nice in the summertime, especially when it's hot. Um, out here in the desert now, that was in Michigan. I'm out here in the desert now and it's a little bit different. Uh, can't have a fire for one. Like couldn't have a fire in Colorado or Utah or here in, in Arizona. So I uh, can't use the hot water heater like that, but there's plenty of hot sun. I can feel it baking on my face right now. And that's why I have a hat and glasses on all the time because it's just so bright and hot here and they get sunburned pretty easy. Uh, so I'm going to adapt that shower system and that hot water system for the desert here. I have the equipment here. I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to do another video on it. So you might want to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified when it comes up. You have to smash that notification bell too so you get the notification. But I do have uh, the same porta shower unit here, different jug, but the same shower pump. This is actually off my well pump. I left the uh, porta shower pump there, but the same pump. I have my Jackery. I have some black tubing and my circulating pump. So I'm gonna whip up a, 
a solar hot water shower here and we'll see how that works. I hope you liked the video. If you do, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified of all videos that I have coming up in the future. I hope you're having a great day and live your best life.